Pretty good, man. I guess you're up early today, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been here for a while already. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, the uh, how did this all come about, the, the quote-unquote varsity day at Cedar Creek, and what, what was the uh, inspiration behind it? Well, it was before I got here. It was a year before I got here. And matter of fact, uh, one of our uh, head coaches at the time and um, a veteran teacher, Linda Brennan, met with uh, Rain, Scott, James Rain and Scott Parker. And she said, listen, we got really no traditions here at this point in time, and we want to start something new. What do you think about all teams playing in, on a Saturday in the fall season? And we'll call it Varsity Day. And that's how it starts. So it really started with uh, Linda Brennan, Jane Brenna, and uh, Scott Parker. Uh, the first year, and we had JV teams that year, except for I think it was girls basketball and wrestling. And the next year I came over and took the job. It, we put it into fruition, and um, we've done it every year. It's our seventh year, and one Saturday early in September, we'll play every game from like 9 o'clock in the morning, and we lead up to the football game at 1 o'clock. And we, we've called it Varsity Day. And uh, the, it's been a community involvement. And uh, it's, been, it's been a pretty neat thing every year. And we've been blessed with great weather every year. So knock on wood. <laughs> what, what do you got going on out there? You got some uh, some bouncy houses, some face painting, a dunk tank, anything it, like that? It, it, it's funny <laughs> you say that. So we, we kind of want to, we, we always say, you know, they all focus on the student athletes and the games. But each year something else, something else pops in. So we got a lot of fundraisers. It is, we're missing a Krispy Kreme donut fundraiser right now. We got a, a snow cone machine truck coming, a, a dessert truck coming. We lead up to our concession stand. We got the clothing sales going on. We got a, a I think it's a Lalo Roo, a Lulu Ra, something like that, clothing <laughs> sale going on with the, some of the fundraiser and the classes have gotten involved with senior class and, and project prom. So it's, it's, it's pretty good, but the focus is on the kids. We'll have the band going around every single game today. Uh, starting at nine o'clock, and uh, the kids really get into it. They're they're really excited. We sell the Varsity Day T-shirt, so uh, it's a whiteout today. The kids came up with, so they're they're pretty excited to get this going. You got to link up with your boys over there at Petros. Get a couple bouncy houses out there. <laughs> <laughs> get get some of the young get some of the young kids out there. <laughs> we talked about it a couple of years ago. I'm not ready for that yet, but maybe <laughs> years. So. Make it make it into a sort of a, a carnival type atmosphere. Absolutely, absolutely. So what's this day uh, mean for you as the athletic director? I guess you're kind of uh, going to be all over the place and out of the house for a good eight, nine hours, right? Yeah, we, we go pretty well. We, we got in here since 7 o'clock this morning. I mean, people have been setting up, but we have our games. Well, volleyball starts at 9 o'clock this morning versus Cape Christian. Um, it, it's, it's a good day. It's a lot of preparation uh, ahead of time, and then once it gets going, everything kind of falls into place um, for the most part. As I said, You'll see, the, if you come over here today, Saul, I thought you said you might be coming. Yeah, I mean, I'll be out the there for the court, football game, yep. On the, on the outside basketball courts, I mean, the community gets involved, the parents, they'll have your uh, high school allowed tailgate with some barbecues and sandwiches and, of course, soda and water. And, um, you know, they, they get into it. It's, it's, a, it's a real community involvement, and um, they, they're buying into it first and foremost. I, before I got here this morning, there's probably five tents already set up, ready to roll. Now, will you have a uh, a parking spot coned off for Glory Days? Absolutely. So I, so Absolutely. I don't have to park out by the main road there. <laughs> Not at all. Just text me when you get here. It'll be perfect. <laughs> I know it gets a pretty big crowd out there. Do, do the other teams, um, you know, the soccer and field hockey teams, do they kind of hang around for the rest of the day and and mingle in with the football fans? Yeah, I, matter of fact, they they want to. We we actually tried. Um, we tried to do it. We were talking about maybe doing it on a Friday night at one point in time, but the kids have come back and said, no, we want to want to play our games early on, and everyone gets a chance to go see everyone else. So what you'll see this morning is the football team will be in early. They'll go around and watch the girls' soccer game, the volleyball game, watch the boys and girls cross country. They'll cheer them on. And it really is a neat thing to watch because as when those games finish up, they'll go and see the other ones play. So, like, we have girls' volleyball going on at 9 o'clock, the soccer going off at 9.30, uh, boys and girls cross country going off at 10, tennis going off at 10, field hockey going off at 10, 10.30, boys' soccer 11.30, and they all get to go see each other around. So it's a pretty neat atmosphere leading up to the football game, and they pack the stands, hopefully, and the Creek Crazies get going. So it's a neat time. <laughs> now, Mike, in my experience with high school sports, it's, it's never that hard to get a group of football players to go around and hoot and holler at another game. <laughs> it really isn't it really isn't but uh, you know the neat thing about it is right now the band has been here since before anyone this morning we got a new band director and jordan blicky and he's going to go around to each game today and play a little something at every single game so the, the band's pretty excited they get to do their first halftime routine uh this afternoon so they're they're, they're pretty ready to roll too we have 22 kids out there right now ready to get going 
Awesome, man. We're talking with uh, Mike McGee, the athletic director over at Cedar Creek High School. And, um, but Mike, yeah, talking about the football team, uh, obviously th- that's one of the most popular teams at any high school, and, and it's really cool when they get to go out and, and see the other teams. I know at, at Mainland from time to time maybe there'll be a big <laughs> soccer game or a big field hockey game, and it'll be the final minutes and, you know, the football team's finishing up their practice, and they kind of all come out there, and you got 40, 50 guys kind of hooting and hollering and cheering on the team. It makes for a, a really cool atmosphere at, at those kind of games when you have those guys uh, getting out there and supporting the rest of the teams. It really does, and I, I think that's one thing that Timmy Watson's done here since he's been here, and uh, he's taking time out on numerous days and special games and making sure he's, you know, beginning to practice. He'll say, go down and let's watch the uh, the girls' soccer team. they got a big game today. Let's get them going beforehand. And uh, each team has done that, and what's, what's kind of neat, all the kids usually come to the football game, but when the football players go around to each other game, it makes it that much more special, and Tim has bought into that from day one. He understands the big picture of um, you know high school athletics and and uh, I think the kids get into it and this is a special day because you'll see them here all early and they'll they'll walk around from team to team from game to game they're all wearing the shirts and and uniforms and they get varsity day shirts and it's it's pretty exciting time. Now, Mike, as an athletic director, obviously you have to worry about all the uh, the quote unquote X's and O's in terms of scheduling and all that stuff and and fi- lining up buses and everything else you have to do uh, throughout your day. But you're also sort of the ambassador for the school and, and the general student population. Um, how much of, of that role do you take on in, in really pumping the kids up for this and, and getting people excited, making sure that the, the freshmen and the sophomores get out there to experience all this? Pretty good. Uh, you know, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, a wing guy over here at this building. Scott Parker has been our uh, – I, I really believe he's – He's got another career ahead of him in, in getting things going. Uh, he is he leads our pep rallies. He's uh, very vocal. He'll be here pretty soon. Uh, if he's not here now, and he's he's pretty vocal at getting things get get going, at getting the creek crazies going. The kids love the pep rallies. I've been in a, a few schools, and by far, um, our pep rallies are pretty good here, and he gets the kids excited. I'm more of your quiet guy, and I you know I'll get them going and move them around and talk to them individually. But he gets out in front of the crowds and. Uh, the, the kids get excited. We were in the cafeteria yesterday, matter of fact, on the microphone a little bit, getting the kids ready for this. Nice. Get them, get them all fired up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now, Mike, uh, it's pr- been a pretty good week for you so far. Uh, your, um, your daughters have all got – and some of them are still at Mainland. I know your oldest daughter graduated. But um, nice win for Mainland last night. That's got to feel good for you as a as a Mainland parent. So you're a little bit of divided loyalties, you know, when Mainland does play Cedar Creek. But when they're not playing each other, you can kind of root for both schools. Absolutely. They, they played a great game last night. I was happy for that program. Uh, they had a long season last year. Ended it with a great win over there, uh, Thanksgiving Day game. And they came off with a great win last night. They were home excited. And I know uh, – I know they went out and got wings last night. <laughs> that was their big thing uh, after the game. So they were really excited about that victory. And it was a tough ball game between both teams last night over there at Oak Crest, Mays Landing. Mike, how, how's your uh, eldest daughter, Alexa, doing? She's a college freshman now. Is she, is she, has she been homesick in, in September, or is she getting used to the college life? You know what? So I think she's getting very used to it. <laughs> she has not been home yet. She doesn't want to go uh, we're, actually going, <laughs> we're actually going down tomorrow to take her out to lunch. She's pretty excited, but uh, – she seems enjoying her time. I appreciate that. And you have the other two. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she's studying. That's the whole <laughs> I don't know. Saturday at college, I don't think there's too much studying. <laughs> from, from, from what I remember, it, you know, back in the early yeah, 90s. So we grew up different time, man. <laughs> different time. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a whole lot of studying going on on a Saturday. <laughs> no, not for me either. She's down at uh, Delaware, right? Yes, University of Delaware. Nice. And you got the other two. Uh, how, how old's the youngest now? She's in seventh grade. She's got a game tonight as she cheers for the Northfield Cardinals. So she's got her game tonight. So after this, I'll be heading over there to watch that. Uh-oh. Cole, Cole Raring coaches Linwood Panthers. <laughs> he's, he's not too happy about the, the mention of the Northfield Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We're talking about Mike McGarry. Uh, Mike McGarry. <laughs> Mike McGarry. we got coming up at nine. Mike <laughs> McGee here, uh, athletic director for Cedar Creek High School. And, and Mike, how, how big has this varsity day gotten in, in the last uh, five, six years? I'll tell you what, each year it's gotten bigger, um, which is uh, it's gotten harder to schedule, to be honest with you. It's, you know, Saturday games sometimes. I know today was tough because uh, there's a tennis tournament going on and a cross-country open going on today. So it was, it was real tough uh, to schedule. Unfortunately, this will be the second time, actually, we couldn't get a girls' tennis match today. So 
our boys tennis team stepped up and they're actually going to do a, a scrimmage today at 10 o'clock and they're all excited about that both <laughs> of them there's some smack talking going back and forth oh, i'm sure yeah the girls program is going to do pretty good today so um they stepped up for a little scrimmage but it, the, the scheduling aspect of it's been pretty good i mean a uh, lot of the schools that we've had over the years you know that we've complimented each other they've come to me one year i've gone back to a couple others i've talked to some athletic directors um outside one at the short conference specifically who was starting one up this year and we talked about scheduling this thing way in advance um just to make you sure like any other saturday you have them locked in at a certain time so it all goes off pretty smooth but that would be the biggest difficulty and then as you said before each year something new uh, not became a carnival type atmosphere because we always all focus on the student athletes but everyone's coming up with some good ideas and i you know that's all you said it before but the bouncy thing has come up i'm not ready for it yet maybe in a year or two we'll see, we'll see how that goes well, Mike, uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I'm I'm not going to do is I'm not going to challenge your first singles player in girls tennis, man. She's a, she's a good, she's a budding star, a stud. I tell you what, she, she's really good. Uh, we're looking forward to her. Well, next next three years here with her, three or four years. I'm by no means a tennis player, and I consider myself a halfway decent athlete. But if I went out there against her, it'd be completely embarrassing. <laughs> Me too. So <laughs> last time I true story, last time I played the. Uh, uh, girls in a scrimmage out here. I got a shoulder operation the next the next few weeks. I tore my rotator cuff. It was already torn, but I finished the job. <laughs> so I haven't played tennis since. They they got a good squad. I was out there uh, earlier this week and uh, checking them out, and and a lot of a lot of the teams there have have really uh, become competitive squads in the Cape Atlantic League, and uh, that's got to be nice to see for you as an athletic director. You're fairly young school still. Yeah, I I say the. Um, I think we've we developed a good coaches, and I'll say from everything on over. I mean, we have uh, Nicole Rose has been a great tennis coach for us. She, she stepped down, but she came stepped on as an assistant with a new coach, Mike Pat, over this year. Danielle Hagel does an awesome job with our girls' soccer program. We have Nick Lamone. Um, he's been an assistant boys' soccer coach for us. He stepped up this year and became the head. As you know, our football program and Tim, we're blessed to have Kim Bryles. Uh, she was a, an awesome coach back a day and an incredible player. She played at the University of Delaware. She's our first year um, back now. She coached at Gammy, but she's a first year head coach with her girls' field hockey program. And um, I really had a good feeling on that program. Hopefully, she's going to get that thing going uh, and, and you know take it to the next level. So, Brian Beck's been a good job for us with the uh, girls' volleyball. So, we've been really blessed uh, with a lot of good coaches out here. And I really just, you know, try to support them, stay out of the way. <laughs> and make sure they do the right thing. But, uh, you know, they're doing a good job. I'm really happy with it. Well, Mike, the uh, I mentioned I was going to be out there for the football game at 1 o'clock, and the uh, the Cedar Creek football Twitter account mentioned they'd have a pirate burger ready for me. So I'll be, I'll be, take, I'll be taking you up on that at halftime. <laughs> Absolutely. So I can't wait to see you. We'll have one ready. All right, man. We'll see you out there soon. Have a great day, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. That was Mike McGee, athletic director at Cedar Creek High School. Get out there if you get a chance. they got games going on all morning, all afternoon with uh, pretty much every sport of Varsity Day. So a real cool thing that Cedar Creek does to kind of uh, get everybody jazzed up and excited for the fall sports season.